is a, um, a quick demo of the basic operation of singly linked lists. So here's what we have. This is the typical cell of a linked list. It has two fields, an info field that will contain the information we want to keep. And in this case, it's going to be an integer. And the next is a reference to the next element in the list. And this is how it's declared. It's a class. It has two fields, info next, and two different constructors. You can either construct one of these new cells with uh, an integer and then a reference to another um, element of the list, or you can create it with just passing an integer, in which case the next um, reference is going to be null. All right, so this is the code I'm going to be executing. Um, I'm going to have a head and tail to mark the beginning and the end of the list. Then I'm going to set them to null, both of them. And then I'm going to add at the front of the list the integer 5 in a new um, element, in a new cell. Okay, this is, and so I'm, we're going to look at that code together. And then I'm going to add again at the front um, the integer 10. And then just for, uh, for fun, I'm going to add at the end of the list a new element, 3, in its own, um, so own cell. So at the end, I should have three, a linked list of three elements. All right, let's take a look at um, this code. Head and tail are references to um, elements of, of this type, int SSL node, um, a node from a single, singly linked list of integers. So head and tail. So that's what I have here. This is what happens. I have two variables, and they can be referencing. They can, uh, they're not really contained. They will just contain the, the address, if you want, of objects that are of this type. All right, then I'm setting both of them to null, and I can do that in one statement like this. And I'm going to show the null references as little broken arrows here. OK, now um, I'm going to execute this code. So if the whole line says head equals new int sll node 5 head. And this is what happens. So the new part creates a new object of this type. So I have this shape. And I put five in the first um, element, the, the info. And then I copy head for the reference. Since head is null, then the next reference is null as well. So that's the, the, the yellow part creates an object. That's the new part. The uh, int sll node gives it its shape. And then I construct it with a constructor from that particular class, five. And next gets null. Why does it get null? Because head right now is null. So if I copy head in here, then this guy is also null. Okay. Now that I'm assigning to head. So now head becomes a reference to this. That's what the assignment does. So that's why I've done it in two steps. You always execute what's on the right hand side of an assignment. And then head equals this means head now is a reference to that. So if I look up head, I will see that I have this element. Okay. So um, then tell equals head. So tell now is also a reference to this element. So I have both head and tell somehow marking this particular element. I have a list of one, so therefore the tail and the head are the same. All right. I'm going to add 10 at the front of the list. So the new part creates, um, sorry, right here. This is the new um, object with 10 and head. So I'm going to put 10 because head is a reference to this. Then this guy becomes a reference to this as well. OK, so this head, passing head here, makes this guy point here. So you see that it's not complete, but I've only done half of my statement. So the second half is to assign head to be a reference to that. So head now becomes a reference to this new element, which contains 10. And its pointer points there. So you see that I have a very nicely chained list of two elements, two cells. All right. Now I'm going to add the number 3 in a new element and at the end of the list. So it's slightly different. So I create here new uh, cell, put 3 and null. So I'm putting 3 and next is null. So that's the yellow part here. And I'm going to assign that to tail.next. Well, tail points to this. 
so tail next is this so if I make tail next be a reference to the new element that I created then next become a reference to that All right so tail next equals new tail next is that reference to this and now all I need to do is that I need to make tail point to the new element. That's what I'm doing here. Tail equals tail next. Tail was pointing here. Tail's neck was pointing there. So therefore, tail equals tail next. Make tail point to the new element.